guys and welcome to Tech Team GB. This video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I'm recording on my webcam as opposed to with my normal camera setup. That is for a couple of reasons. One, because AMD really likes to hold their information very close to their chest right until the last second. And uh, I also had a relatively serious medical condition, which means I'm relatively disabled right now. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But point is that we want to talk about the AMD RX 500 series. Now, this is uh, certainly an interesting thing. You've likely seen some of these slides already and long story short uh, the 550 is probably the most interesting card here it is a card designed for people who are currently on integrated graphics and can't necessarily afford something like a 460 or a, I suppose a 560 now uh, with uh, you know that sort of price range it's gonna be I think under 100 pounds I can't tell you the exact price in another couple of days but it's a it's a very interesting card uh, and if you are on integrated graphics and you're looking for what is a cheap way to get out of that and especially if you play you know uh, esports type games or CSGO, League of Legends, Dota, that sort of stuff that isn't too demanding, then uh, this could be a very interesting card for you. Now to take a look at the 580, 570 and 560, I want to mostly talk about the 580 here as this is obviously the flagship card uh, and when we move to the reviewer's guide to show you the specs for this, as you can see we've got 2,304 stream processors with 36 compute units, a die size of 232mm squared, 144 texture units, 32 ROPs, we also have a 256 bit wide memory bus using GDDR5, this is technically a 185 watt card but that's because of the clock speeds that you see here. And if we just compare that to the RX 480's uh, clock speeds and specs, we have the Ellesmere core using the same core count, the same texture units, the same ROPs, the same mem... It's, 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 um, yeah, it's, it's a rebrand, it's a rebadge. Uh, it is, uh, it's basically the, the same card. The only main difference is actually the clock speed. Uh, and the other thing to mention is that actually, the, compared to the Strix uh, 480, which was actually one of the only Strix cards, uh, the only aftermarket uh, AIB, you know, RX 480s that I could get my hands on, the clock speed for this is almost identical to what they're quoting for the 580. Now, of course, the 580 will likely have an extra overclock on top of the numbers from the AIBs anyway, but it is something to, to bear in mind that this is basically just an overclocked RX 580, or sorry, RX 480, uh, with the uh, 4 gig models basically being diminished in terms of how many there will be, at least in theory anyway, that's what AMD say, they're mostly aiming for 8 gig models here. In terms of pricing, we have uh, basically £220 for the uh, 8 gig 580, you have £185 for the 4 gig 580 for those that you can find one uh, and with the 570 4 gig you're looking at £165 as well so basically the same pricing uh, as the existing cards. Now why they named these the 5 series as if they're something genuinely different when they are the same cores but just a refined process node and didn't call them you know an RX 480 OC edition or something like that or you know how uh, you know, maybe even TI version or something just to say that this is basically the same card but with a slight overclock. Uh, I really don't know. It seems uh, quite misleading personally to, to make it seem like this is such a brand new uh, development. There's something fantastic that's gone on here to change up the, your, your, your last generation to make something new when really this is the same core with an, an overclock. So uh, that is uh, just something to, to be aware of. This is really, uh, I can't really give too much in terms of benchmarks as I don't have one of the cards yet, uh, but at the same time, I wanted to pass on the information to you, I wanted to just give you an idea of what the 5 series actually is uh, and uh, you know just give you the pricing and details and specs and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, what do you think? I'd love to hear you uh, your thoughts in the comments down below. Are the, is the 580 a car that you're going to pick up now that it's a little bit faster and a little bit better at 1080p and 1440p gaming or is this something that you're a little bit kind of ashamed at AMD for doing? Let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to, I'd love to hear from you obviously and speak to you. Uh, and I will be uh, speaking a little bit more about both myself and uh, hopefully these cards in the near future as well. So do subscribe if you want to see more of that. Uh, and otherwise, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of it really. Kind of a short video just to, to inform you and let you know what uh, the 5 Series is about. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out uh, the links in the description down below. There's lots of you to check out down there. And of course, supporting me by sharing this video as well. And otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.